Yeah, we're just coming from the slave amazing exhibition on slave trades, which was very interesting. And now we're going to Jufuwe. So we are standing on the highway. So the highway also divided the um, Jufre into two um, into two into two sides. You can see the other side and the other side is here. And we have the Jufre rest house also. We have the Jufre craft market. And this road it goes to San Domingo, where when slaves were captured on the main, uh, in the village here. So they were transporting them to San Domingo where they are keeping them every fortnight they will start transporting them to the island. So we are now going to see the family of Dr. Okay. All right. Jufure. May I introduce Lamuna? I think you have a business with us. I think you have a business with us. So family, this has been a very incredible historical journey. And it's a beautiful uh, day, and it's uh, a very emotional and it's a rough struggle. But you know, we as the people can make this uh, work uh, once we just educate ourselves on the reasons why we need to unify and organize our powers to build. We need to build. In fact, when I was younger, I remember watching Alex Haley's roots, and never in a million years I thought I'll be able to see that history for myself to where we're encouraging and empowering other people to do the same and even taking it to another level of black empowerment and nation building. So as you can see, it's not a very rich uh, area, but this is what happened when we get decimated and people come and take, take, take. We have you know, nothing. So when preaching the same um, information uh, over and over, uh, since we started traveling to Africa in 2004 with the first country, Senegal, to now, back in Senegal and also the Gambia, 2021. So. This is my 17th year journey of experience in Africa. And it's, you know, we can also get a lot more done with more support. And as you can see, we have a smaller group this time, but based on the COVID-19 drama, it's what it is. So we're letting you know that once you see us in this community. Yeah, you can see the village is so quiet. Peaceful and quiet. So this is why we want our people in diaspora, American, African Americans, you, they have to come back and come back to the to, to the to the father to the fatherland DRS and motherland DRS. Let them come and be with us so that the village can little bit change. Because you see all our people has been transported. The village is so quiet because we have less people in the village today. All the resources and peep slaves they are all transported. Yeah. <laughs> So that's the, we are just coming to enter in the compound of Kunta Kinte, where he was originally born. Mm. Yeah, so we're going to find um, the eighth generation of the Kinte family today, whose name is called Aja Mariama Fofana. So Aja is the eighth generation of this family today. This. So you can see the big trees like baobabs. You can find them in the olden village, the oldest, oldest villages. And that's the family compound where Kunta Kinte was born. This is called Kunta Kinte um, Kunta Kunda. Um, Kinte Kunda. So we are in Kinte Kunda now. That's the compound. Yeah. Hello. 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 
So right leg, this is the Bansheba, it's meant for the visitors. So this, this, is, what the, this is the is? home of Kunta Kinte, yeah, here yeah, is the home. And that's the eighth generation, Ajaa Mariama Fokona, is the eighth generation of the family today. So she is the, she is the head. She was succeeded through her mother, Binta Kinte. When Binta Kinte passed away, she is selected by the family, and now she is on throne. So this is where Kunta Kinte was born, um, till when he went to find firewood at the age of 17. There he was captured by the Portuguese, and he was later on transported to the island, where he spent three weeks. Then from there they took him to America, where they so went to change his name to Toby, they never accepted that name. So he was um, beaten till he wanted to die. Then they sold him to a plantation where he tried to escape three times. The first time he was captured, the second time he was captured, and the third time when he was captured, he was amputated. One of his feet was cut, and there he was no more a viable slave. So Kunta Kinte, when his foot was very fine, one day the plantation master was very happy with the slaves. He came early morning into the plantation and told his slaves that today I'm very happy and I have signed a treaty that slaves in my plantation, if they love each other, they can marry. So Kunta Kinte married to uh, Bell, that's the European name, the African name is called Fancha. They married and they get a daughter called Kisi. So Kisi also at the age of 15, she was separated with the mother and the father. She was sold to another plantation. During her time of staying in that plantation, one day she was raped by the plantation master and they get a boy called Kikin George. So Kikin George, when he grown up, he married to Batra and they have Cynthia. So with Cynthia, Cynthia married to Simon Haley and they have Alex Haley. So Alex Haley um, is the one who made 12 years the size before coming to Gambia. But he firstly came here in 1973. That was the year he met the father of this lady, Keba Kanye Fofana. He was the one who told him all the history about Kunta Kinte and some of the details that he bring out and show it to Alex Haley. So the history that the, um, Alex Haley was told in America by his parents is the same history that he met here in the village here and in this compound. So on that day he cried here a lot. They said, why? You cry? He said, yeah, um, I met my family. So this made me to cry. So and other people in the village were all crying together with Alex Haley. So in 1977, he came here again and started making the movie of Roots with a man called Ribbon Browsey. So in the same year, the book of Roots and the movie of Roots was all published in the whole world. This is why it makes very interesting people, many thousands of thousands of people are coming to see just in um, Punta Kinti Island, the freedom flag for the slave museum, and the first church in West Africa also, it was also built in this village here by the Portuguese in the late 1444 to 1445. And the bleeding woman also is here, she is very photogenic and they are going to show us some of the documents that they have with them here. So this is the day Alex Haley came to the village. He started buying the, um, uh, bought, he bought a bag of kola nut so that each compound in the village can have a share from the kola nut. So this is Alex Haley and Binta Kinte, the mother of Aja Maria Fofana. So that's the first, the, the first founder of the village, the first chief of the village, right? And yeah, with, with the rest is the family of Kunta Kinte with Alex Haley here. Right. Yeah. So that's Binta Kinte, the famous woman in the world. Alex Haley met this lady in 1973 and 1977. So she is the famous woman. So her daughter is succeeded to her, Binta Kinte. Eh? Uh, Binta was the seventh generation of the family. Many African Europe Americans met him, met her, sorry. Yeah. So that's the man who came here with, uh, with Alex Haley. His name is called River Brower. That's Kunta Kinte him, himself. In those days, they don't have prints. They don't have cameras were not invented, but they make prints. So that's Kunta Kinte himself.
Powerful. Powerful. Very powerful. Serious. I'm <laughs> So, uh, there's a, is there a donation cup um, to give to you. Yeah, so, yes, we just collected money to donate for everything, and include entrance fees, so that's what we're here to do today. Just, you know, and do some documentation, and just make, do, you do the best you can do. And we're trying to build a strong energy, but this has been powerful information. And, and, you know, because all the things that we have done today, I never learned in school. Yeah, yeah, definitely. I went to school for all the years, yeah, and including university, and never learned anything, no, no. None, none, none of it. Ah. So this that's why I learned I that you know this is a new company, so you know, new types need to have my 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 contact whenever you guys are coming. Then. Oh, definitely, brother. We're building a strong energy yeah. with roots tours. Yeah. Yeah, so my brother translating. Yeah, you, yeah, you can take photo. This is my family. The mom, mom, stop. And green. Hello, hello. Doing well. Just here. My name is Bomani Tayemba. Bomani. 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 From Jamaica and uh, here to connect back to Africa to learn about our roots. Yeah. So, all my family, all my family is born in Jamaica. So, and then some of the so, Americans come back to their home. Yes, and then them to come back to their home. What she's trying to say, what she's trying to emphasize, like she's saying that all the Africans should come back to their roots and develop their roots, like the Europeans are developing their own areas, they should come back to their own home and. And that's what we've been emphasizing on. And that's what we've been telling people. And I have a generation of my family that's also been born in America. And so we're also trying to educate them that don't just settle uh, you know, for America and Europe. Let's work together to do something and build the future of Africa. So, because we have everything that we need. What, what, what's, what I feel right now, I don't have me personally, like the Europeans, all their historical places, every year they elevate it, they make it nice. I look at France. That big maison was born of, but they build it very nice. Well, like, look at this compound, you're going to be around, people are coming here, Africans are coming here. Look at the way these people are still living for about centuries. Right, I, yeah, and, and, and that's what I was shocked about. Yeah, and, I can't believe this. And we are coming, we are Africans, we are in Europe, investing their billions, and when we are all historical things, we can change the system, still remain the same. And so everybody still remain the same. Look at kids, how they are. We have the same culture. They can here, come here for the premier in the, uh, on the island. We are contacting the world's capital. They can come and see there. Yeah? A lot of things are here that they should come and see and also try to, you know, even they can buy their own lands and settle here. They can have time. Yes, yeah. a lot of land. Yeah, here you have good people here. You have nice people. They are, they are, they are, they are, they are their own family members. Yeah, and each of them in America, we belong to a family in here. Yes. It is a matter of history. Being Alex Binana, a Binani history, so to learn one. I came back and saw for another matter. Emma, you are very good. 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 You
like sometimes some people come they just say okay i'm tired i don't want to read and see the family of kuka kita they just stay there and go back they don't get good information from them and they don't even feel them like if you come to a person you have to see the family and feel the family and know that this is where that person is from. So that you can have the imitation of bringing another person or even trying to help the person to change the life of the person. Like many people will come here, they will just stop at the beach, have their restaurant and just go back, sell their bought vehicles and they just get back home. And you know, you know, you know what I do, I, I document everything and we follow a process where we greet and meet everyone so so family uh, my brother is on point and what he's saying and i know sometimes we're tired but um so we know um you know we just have to do our best but that's why me and you are still here at least recording the information so we're so 